Hello everybody, hope you are doing well, where today we are going to be implementing the chat view which is this view, so let's start coding and first thing we will go to our chat folder and here we will create two new group, one will be view and another will be view model, okay perfect, from there we will create a new file, it will be a Swift UI view. And we are going to call it chat view. Okay, perfect. Now if I go to my inbox view. And I will put my inbox row view inside the navigation link. With a destination and the label. For the destination, of course, it will be chat view with the height of the back button back button, navigation bar, back button head and for the label of course our inbox row view okay perfect now if I if I click on any of them I find myself in my chat view so perfect the second thing now is to be implementing our chat view so if you see this uh, this one is scrollable but this one in the bottom it's not scrollable so we will have a v stack and inside my v stack i will have a scroll view and an a stack so let's implement it so it will be a v stack and inside my v stack i will have a scroll view empty for now and then we got an a stack that will be also empty for now and we will have of course a spacer and i will give my a stack dot padding okay perfect the second thing of course you will probably see we got a background image so we will implement it on our v stack we will give it dot background and it will be image and the name I think is background image okay perfect it will be dot resizable dot scale to fill dot ignore safe area and with frame of max width and max height of dot infinity okay perfect uh, the way we want it okay uh, now we will work on our a stack uh, as you can see it's uh, this text field and above the text field we got uh, this three button so it's a z stack where you got a text field and above it we got uh, an a stack so and then we got this button so uh, in my a stack i got a z stack and after my z stack I got a button with action and label and for the label it will be image system name and let me check what's the name of uh, the image uh, I apologize just okay mic.circle.fill mic.circle.fill it will be dot resizable with a frame with width and height of 40 and the foreground style of color dot dark gray okay it's very similar to the one we got here then inside my z stack i will start first with a text field so i will create a text field will be message as placeholder and then for the text uh, I will create uh, the binding variable inside my view model so we will create a new file it will be a swift file we will call it chat view model and here we will have class chat view model of type 
observable object and here you got uh, at published var message text of type string and it's an empty string by default okay perfect here we will call our view model so it's a state object private var view model equal shot view model and here it will be dollar view model dot message text okay this should be perfect the way we want it now as you can see we will need to give it a, a padding and a background color and a clip shape so let's do this we will start with dot padding of dot vertical of 12 dot padding of dot leading of 44 or I think uh, let's try it that way on dot padding of dot trailing of 60 then we will give it a background color it will be color dot system group at the background and we will give it a clip shape clip shape of capsule okay perfect I think it's uh, beautiful okay then uh, above our text field I want to have this a stack so I will add an a stack and to my a stack I will give it dot padding of dot horizontal for now at least then I will add three image for now later we will make them button but for now it will be three image it will be first one it will image system name uh, smiling dot face I think smiling dot face it's wrong so oh, okay face dot smiling it's face dot smiling okay perfect then we got a spacer and then we got image system name and after that we will got this one I think it's let me check it's paper clip okay perfect and the last one it's image system name and let me check what's the name uh, it's camera dot fill okay camera dot fill okay perfect uh, the other thing is we will give it a foreground style of dot gray okay perfect uh, pretty similar to what we got here another thing is if you see here if I start writing it changes the image so we will do the same for this one so it will be view model dot message text if it's uh, equal to an empty string in that case we will show the current image which is mic.circle.fill else we will show the image of play.circle.fill if I to show you if I write a letter you see it becomes the play button if I don't it stays the mic which is perfect I think for now okay now uh, the other thing is we need to implement the toolbar so Let's start working on our toolbar. So here, after our background, we will create a toolbar. Okay, so. Okay, the toolbar and we will start with toolbar item with of top bar leading. In the one of top bar leading, we, it's clear, it's a simple A stack, so a stack uh, and we got a button with action and label 
and for the label it will be image system name arrow dot backward and uh, for the action we will add uh, it will dismiss uh, as you see when you click on it it dismisses the view so to do so we will have at environment slash dot dismiss private var dismiss and we will call here uh, uh, dismiss okay so perfect uh, after that we got uh, the image we will use our reusable component circular profile image view with the size of x small and x small it's when you give a 32 of width and 32 of height and user we will use our mock user user dot mock user and we finish with the text which is do i choose so text it will be user dot mock user dot uh, full name okay perfect uh, and all this it will have uh, i think this one i will have uh, a font of dot sub headline and uh, font weight of dot semi bold and for the entire a stack i will give it a foreground style of dot white okay now if i go to my inbox view Okay, so let's wait for it. Hopefully everything will be working fine. If I go there, perfect. It's beautiful the way it should be. Now I need to other the, uh, to add the other toolbar items. So let's quickly implement it. Okay, we will add now another toolbar item. And it will be top, top bar trailing. And here we will have an A stack with spacing of 24. And here we will have image system name. And the first one is video.fill. The second one is also from SF symbol, it's phone.fill. And the last one is system name and it's uh, ellipsis uh, we will give it a font of dot subheadline a font weight of dot semi bold and a foreground style of dot white if I go now to my or let's go to my main tab bar view Okay, if I go from here, okay, perfect. Everything is working perfectly. The only problem now is we got this tab bar. We need to handle the tab bar. We don't want the tab bar here. So let's fix this problem and to fix it, it's very easy. You go to our, here to our tab bar. We will create uh, or to our view model, chat view model. We will create add published variable. We will call it tab bar visibility. Type visibility. And by default, it will be dot hidden. And uh, before we dismiss it, here in my, uh, where do I dismiss it? Here in my button, I will tell him view model dot tab bar visibility equal okay there is a little problem let's check where is the problem uh, let me check okay apparently i need to import swift UI. okay perfect okay to tap our visibility equal dot visible 
uh, that should uh, uh, and the other thing also we need uh, dot toolbar this one with visibility we will give him view model dot uh, tabbar visibility for dot uh, tabbar this way we handle the tabbar when it's visible and when it's not so if I go back now to my main tabbar view hopefully everything will be working perfectly if I click on it okay we got this little bug but it works perfectly and to be honest uh, I will give you a quick fix for this bug for now and then I will explain how to really really solve it but for now you can do this this way so you can do dot navigation title and empty and dot navigation title or display mode dot inline this will solve this issue for now at least because when you specify your title it cannot get uh, longer so okay this solves the problem at least for now okay perfect i think uh, in the next video we will i will show you how to implement the chat bubble in the meantime i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like subscribe and as always stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye bye